Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. Um, this is going to be a short video, but the topic is a very important uh, topic, and that's the, your ocu occupant carrying capacity in your motorhome. Um, I don't think many people think about that very much, and it is something that is very significant when it comes to safety and warranty. So one of the things that we did when we bought our motorhome was... I'm an Excel person, but <laughs> pulled out the Excel spreadsheet and um, started logging everything that I was adding to the motorhome and everything I was taking away from the motorhome and kind of keeping track with how much weight was I adding to the motorhome. Um, our Integ request, we actually have an occupant carrying capacity of 1,053 pounds. Um, there are some motorhomes out there like the Wayfair Tiffin, uh, which is shocking to me that they only have somewhere in the range of 700 pounds for uh, carrying capacity. Now keep in mind that carrying capacity includes your weight. So if you are two people and you know whatever your personal weights are, uh, you know that can eat up a lot of what you have to add to the motorhome uh, just by your own personal weight. So it is important to keep track of it. Um, I found just some quick tips. Um, we had uh, seat belts in our uh, horseshoe uh, sitting area and if you took the seat cushions up and looked at where those seat belts were attached to, we found like very heavy duty brackets. Um, they weighed about 20 pounds a piece. And we don't carry people in our motorhome as we're driving um, as a rule that wear seat belts or we don't travel with uh, others, I guess, that way. So they had uh, four of them. We did keep one in there just in case, but we did remove the other ones. And that added an extra, you know, 50, 60 pounds of additional items that we could add without even considering the 1,053. Um, you have to think about the water that you put in your tank. If you're going to drive around with water in your tanks, that has to be added to uh, what you're um, adding to the total weight to your motorhome for that number that you're trying to stay within. Um, your propane, uh, some include it, some don't, so that's something that you want to check on. But basically, it's just a quick tip that keep track. If you add something, take the time to weigh it. If you take something out, take it out and weigh it. Um, we remove some cabinet doors. I mean, you're only talking about, what, two, three pounds? But, you know, over, over uh, various items, you can add up those um, savings uh, very quickly. Um, when you add hooks, you add... Uh, your cans of food, you know, your clothes, uh, some of the clothes that you choose, you know, jeans and some other types of clothes, they can be very heavy. So, you know, think about uh, having clothes in your uh, motorhome that might be more of the uh, lightweight down jackets, things like that, versus the heavy duty. Uh, your shoes, um, your organizing compartments, I mean, all that has to be considered. And I have read and seen where people's warranties have been um, uh, canceled because uh, they uh, had too much weight and it was causing the problem that they might have turned the motorhome in for to be fixed. So just something about that, you know, for some reason when you go to the dealerships, they don't always advertise, hey, this is how much you can add to this vehicle. And sometimes it's hard to kind of figure out. Um, usually on the sticker by the driver's door, there may be some information. Um, but it is something you have to uh, research and make sure that you know your number. So I hope it helped. Uh, again, this is a very important factor when you're doing having a motorhome or a travel trailer. Travel trailers can hold, obviously, a lot more. But the motorhomes themselves, they can, um, because you're on a chassis like a Mercedes Sprinter or Ford, um, you know, they have a limitation as to what uh, you can add to it. And it's not a very high number in most cases. Okay, thanks so much. Hope uh, it was informative. Take care.